Alright everyone, how's it going and welcome back to the Rise of the Cop. This episode, just like last episode, is going to be a pretty fast paced catch up episode again to get us further caught up. And as you can tell from the title, it's a bit of a while back. We're at that stage of Team of the Year when it came out. I do apologise, but where we're at the series currently in present day, I didn't want to just abandon it because some very exciting stuff does happen. And the trade methods that I use in the series, the 1 to 3 method and the Tech Avion, even mixing the two. Tech Avon, especially with special cards, it is the way to go, I reckon. I'm making quite a lot of coins at the minute, which you'll see in the very near future. But yeah, as I say, this episode, we're going to be going through Team of the Year. It is quite ironic considering Team of the Season is out at the minute. So yeah, I can only apologise for how long it's taken. But yeah, we're starting off today with some sales, just from the deals picked up last episode. If you want to go see the prices I paid for them, you can go check out the last episode. At the end of it, you'll see the price I picked them up for. This is all the ones I've sold on, quite a lot of them, along with some stuff in packs. That takes all the way up to some gold bomb rewards. These, however, aren't that interesting anymore because Tim Zayden has like, yeah, is out. But you can see from the red picks here, I end up getting Everman Ega and Benjamin Mendy. Didn't really plan on using either of them. I was just, it sort of went for like either the highest rated or the ones that had a bit of value. And the packs on that, but do you actually get a walk out here in one of the 100 cow packs? It is a Leroy Sane. A duplicate Leroy Sane, mind you. This one being tradable, so that one we can't sell on. Still has decent value at this stage. And then in the next pack, we get an informed walk out, and it is Serge Gnabry. He's someone who I could keep because he's a brilliant player, but I can also list up for around the 60, 70k that he was going for at that point. So yeah, he does go up. And you can see here, in the seals, I apologise for the glitchy screen, it's, don't know why that happened. It was a while back. But yeah, you can see the players that I sold from those packs, putting us now up to 900k nearby. And with that money, I went in and spent quite a bit of it on 17 trades, including one icon again, this time being the 87 rated Filippo and Zaghi. And again, to save us all the time in the world, on screen there you can see the list of what I paid and list them for. So there we have that. Some fairly decent ones in there. Just showing you how effective trade methods are. Still to this day. The only thing really that's different in this video than in what it is today is just the prices, literally. And some of the ratings, some of them have got upgrades, obviously. And then a pack from the Marquee Matchups SBC here. We've got a walkout net. Ends up being Ter Stegen. Another nice tradable player to get because we can sell them on there. Get a nice batch of coins coming in. And as you'll also see in the pack, Kaolini is sitting there beside him. So very nice stuff there. And as I let some time pass, I let them sell and a lot of the trades. There's Inzaghi, the nominee Ter Stegen that I got in the one to three trades, along with all those informs. And we're now sitting at a healthy amount of coins at just over a million and 30,000. We have a couple of things still to sell, which you'll see here. I'll just get through some more time. The only big one there is the Dybala, along with some bronze stuff, just from repeating the bronze pack method and stuff like that. Put us up to 1,067,000 coins. And I've got two trades here, just one free method. Just had about 5 10 minutes to quickly try and pick up a deal. Managed to get two, it was Romagnoli and Alex Tellas, there's the prices there for you. Some decent profit overall. And later on when I got more time to spend some more coins, I picked up four more. Team of the Tournament, Lewandowski, In from Neuer, Scream Asbath, and the Baby Nesta. Again, the price is on screen there, just so you can see what I paid and list them for. And then while they were selling, I had about 130k left, so I just tried to spend it on one more icon to see if I could get a cheap one. Which I do, Jens Lehman here. I picked him up for 108k, this is for 123. Be a nice 13 odd k profit there. If he sells for that, which you'll see here, he does, along with all these other cards, and I'll put us at 1,170,000 coins. Well, one coin less than that. Making some very, very fast coins here. you love to see it. And again, just repeating the process. Seven more deals here. You probably notice that that hand it's there. In today's game, it's a 90 rated Europa League card. I do feel bad about how long it's taken to get this back on track, but we're getting there. I can at least say that, and then again I had some more leftover coins after that. Went in, and you can see the four players I've got. This time I've got two icons, and after this, those ones, again, we've just got a second batch of players. I was only doing it this way, just so I could like list them up as I win them, so I list them all in one go. Just risking a price drop, which is something I recommend for you today if you're doing this. Don't wait until you've got them all one on your coin spent. List them up as soon as you win them, if you've got time, obviously, for the next bid. You don't want to miss out on that while you're listening, you can pull on for about five minutes. But if you can, list them up as soon as you get them. You might make your coins back before you get your next player. It's that simple. I just do it like this so you can see it all together and see pretty much what all I spend and what all I get back in the one go. We could have actually kept that Michael Owen, but because I wanted to do the baby icon first, then the mid, then the prime, then the prime moments, I just list them up for the profit I could have got for him. And we'll see what happens to that very soon. And again, to use up the very last amount of my coins, I got five more here. You can see it took our near 1.2 million balance, the whole way down to 15k. Very nice stuff. And you can see as we get into the sales here, we're back up to 900k. A lot of the things have sold on. Some of the notable things that haven't, it would be that Michael Owen. And in fact, pretty much the only big thing left to sell is that Michael Owen. But because of how much we can probably get for him, you can pretty much see the amount of profit we'll be in. We'll be up near another 100k. And while we are waiting for the Michael Owen to sell, three more deals. That's two Champions League cards, Griezmann and the Son. And then that, I believe that's the prime Saul Campbell. 
But yeah, a bit quite expensive icon to trade with, but because of the success we're having, it is still the one to three method. Just win them out in bid, and you can say I got him for 641k and listed for 749. After tax, you're looking at about 70k profit there. Well, not exactly, but you know, around that, I haven't worked it out exactly. Which for a 700k card is quite nice. In my eyes, anyway, I like to always go for around 5 to 10k profit per 100,000 spent. And you see here, after I get through some time, he doesn't actually sell for that price. I do have to drop a little bit to 725, which he does sell for, along with that Griezmann and so on to put us down at 960k. Still waiting on Michael Owen to sell. I see some of the sales here that I do have, this is from Silver League SBC packs. Just going through what I could complete, opening silver packs to try and stock up the silvers that I need. Each all the duplicates pretty much. It's a nice little rinse and repeat process. As does this, back with some more 1, 2, 3 trades, 10 more deals, 2 icons this time again, the base gigs and Makalele. There's all the prices again, so you can see what sort of profit I'm making per card when they all sell. And again, passing through some time, some of the things have sold on, we're up to 450k. Still waiting to sell on the likes of gigs and Michael Owen again still. Salah there as well. But now we're at a suitable amount of coins. I decided to go out and pick up our first icon for our team. And that was Ian Rush. Starting off obviously as I mentioned earlier with his base 87 rated card. He gets five straight in our starting lineup in that right cam spot. And this team now as you can see is looking quite tasty. <laughs> Got the 7 cam Maldini in the centre back beside Van Dyke, So I can get a strong out of that league SBC tonali. Who is a very good card, especially that shadow on him. Does absolute wonders to him. But yeah, in game this tape it goes to a 4 triple 2. Obviously the DMs would be Tonali and Balak. The right attack in mid, I use Mane. So he can cross Emma's right foot. Sal on the left attack in mid. And then two strikers, Mbappe and Ian Rush. And I know I said we'd go through the first game pretty much of every new player I got. But it's that long ago I've somehow lost the footage. I'm going to do take that team straight in the foot challenge. And after playing a couple of games, our last deals have finally sold on. Did have to lower the price a little bit in each one. But Michael Owen, Ryan Giggs, and Mo Salah, the 91 rated card, all sold on. We're now up to a million coins, which I know is below what I had earlier, but yeah, I have to keep in mind that I did buy that in Rush as well, so it'll still be over a million. Very nice indeed. And yep, yeah, all we can really do is keep on trading, keep on making coins as fast as we can. Nine more deals this time. Again, a pretty wide mixture of cards. Two icons in there again Lampard and Baresi. And then the sales. Baresi and Jordi Alba still selling there. And we've got some more deals. Again, as I say, it's just a rinse and repeat pretty much to get as many coins in as possible. Keep on doing this method. Again, going into the sales. Quite a few still to go, but we're up to 600k again. And then here, as I said, this is our latest episode. We're at the team of the year, so this is just me opening the first of our big packs. Each of the best players that we've got that we can sell on for stuff. Nothing that special. A couple of informs, a Marcelo, a Parejo. Just general stuff like that. We did get an Archer Stegen. And we did get, in an untradeable pack, mind you, an Inform Aguero. Quite nice stuff there, I have to say. And all those packs pretty much were from rewards, and drafts, and the SPCs and stuff. I just pretty much cut out all the boring stuff to save as much time as possible. I'm going to flash on through to some more sales. There's that Barese, he's finally sold on, we're at 1.1 mil. A lot of stuff selling on still, where I do eventually cover a bit more. Again, all the other stuff like the Burkays and packs and stuff, but the pie brings it up to 1.1 million again. And just to interrupt the flow a little bit here of the trading, we're picking up our Parasic storyline card. It was when I had the truth between him and Batchwai. Didn't think it'd use either of them. Picked Parasitch, just he looked better, I don't know, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. And again, I'm probably going to color a lot of the seals as well, unless there's big things down there. I will give like periodical updates, if you know what I mean. But again, some more packs here to see it from League FPCs. Get a couple of informs, get a Marco Royce, get a Courtois, PK in the same pack there, and a Larice. Still no team of the years yet, but as we do get up to the end of our packs, we have one 50k pack left. The tradable one, it's just from rewards. And before opening these packs, I had about 60 packs saved. Came down to this last one. We fired open. Boom. The blue flares. The fancy tunnel. We managed to pack ourselves a team of the year to rent Alexander Arnold. Obviously at the time, this is incredible. Not as good at the minute. I'm sure he's all sick to death with the team of the year stuff. Team of the season's all in now. And team of the season has dragged the price of this card down. But at the time, he was going for about a million. And he does go in their club for now. He's taking that starting right back spot. I listed up the first in form that I had. But we'll see what happens that later on in the episode. You see here with some League FBC just picking like the players from the complete National League FBC. We've got three of them. It's the Bundesliga, Serie A and the Prem. Back when there's only two options again for each. And again because of that we had some more packs over. Only one good pack this time around. And it wasn't a team of the year. It was another Danny Parejo. And then what I went out and did. Back with team of the year that brought out the premium 
League player packs. So I pretty much traded in all my non-Premier League players into the upgrades. I sold on a lot of the players in the club that were worth a bit of value first as well. Get the most amount of coins out of them. And I'll just explain this while you see the best packs on screen, what we'll get from these. But yeah, the reason for doing that, trading in all the players pretty much in the club, it was team of the year. Well, why the hell not go all out? We're going to stack up the club again at some point, very soon. And also, why not the Premier League players? Is because at the start of it, it was quite an effective week tactic to just get all the Premier League players you can, fire them into the league SBC and just circulate them. But I got the point pretty much where Aston Villa, Sheffield United and Norwich all became ridiculous and expensive. So in the end, just started trading all, all the Premier League players as well, just rinse and repeating. But yeah, it was a mad grind back in Team of the Year. It was good fun. Obviously, Team of the Season at the minute, it's back on pretty much. And you can see here, after did got my club out of all the expensive players, all the walkouts, pretty much all the expensive tradable players that I had, including the 85 rated Trent that I mentioned earlier. But we're sitting now just under 1.6 million, which is absolutely brilliant. Not to mention all the untradables I got in my club still at the minute. And after that, I went through my club and cleared out all the rest of the non rares that I had, because I was going to sell the ones that are all worth like a thousand coins or more. Quite a lot of them are worth that. One, two, three thousand coins. No one really realizes that. So if you don't really do the league SBC grind, check your club for some of the tradable non-rares and the rest of the non-rares in my club that weren't worth much, trade them into the three gold Premier League player packs. I just kept rinsing and repeating, selling all the stuff in the Premier League grind back around, make as many coins back as I can and just reinvest, re-spin it. But I just kept getting nothing good to be honest, it was tiring but I wanted to keep going until I got something and actually reminded me of, of the next player that I can buy for the team, Team of the Year nominee Jordan Henderson. 84 really one, you can see me picking up here for 17.5k. A, a nice little upgrade to have, just while I've got heaps of coins on rotate and some more sales there. And then finally, after a long amount of time, we got ourselves another team of the year. And here he is. Again, the footage is really sketchy. Do apologize for that, but we do get Allison. This time obviously is untradable, at least from the upgrade packs. But he definitely goes straight into our team. We can list up the nominee card that we've got for him for like run 100 k And he was actually in a free Premier League player pack, as you can see there. Very lucky stuff. And then back on the grind we went. I will say I got too attached to them. And I ended up deciding that <laughs> because I had all those coins and the team of the year Trent in my club. That there was a bit of a risk that I should have taken. And that was to pretty much take my coins back the whole way down to the million. Try and get as many as I can. But it just didn't work. We did get loads of good players. High rated players for our club. But we just didn't get any more team of the years. And sadly, that does wrap it up. We took our coins down around the million mark. And then when we did that, the player of the month, Trent, came out. And I decided, because of the coins we're making so quickly, and because his price would inevitably drop, I would use all the players I got just from the premium packs to craft this player of the month, Trent. You can see the two teams here. And then listed Trent on the market, along with all the other stuff that I could sell again. You're probably thinking I'm absolutely stupid for that. It's a million pound player that oh, I could have already just had. But it's one of them things to risk. And here, as you can see, the player of the month, Trent, walking out. He is now our starting right back as I did list up this Team of the Year one to end off the Team of the Year's promo. And you'll see what he sells for next episode. You'll see what coins will be on. And yeah, so that is where we're getting off this episode. I hope it was easy enough to follow. I know it was very, very jam-packed. I just wanted to get through it as fast as I could. I'm going to get these videos caught up the Team of the Season as soon as possible. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll get straight back to you as soon as I can. And if you did enjoy it, it would be massively appreciated if you drop a like on it. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. As I say, next episode should be out very soon. But that is it from me for this episode. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.